Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In previous video, we have seen how to create a content type at tenant level and later on we associated a document template with the content type which we created in SharePoint Online. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can create a content type at site level and later on we will associate a document template with that content type. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and to demonstrate today's video, I have created a site with the name of content site label. Let me open the site in the new tab. So on the site content site level, I will go to site contents and here we have a document library. Let me open it. So before we proceed to create a content type at site level in previous video, I have already shown you how we can create a content type at tenant level. So to create a content type in site level, we'll click on this gear icon. I will go to site contents here. I will go to site settings. And under web designer galleries, we have an option of site content types. I will click on it. And here you can see in previous video, I have created one content type with the name of tenant level. So that is the reason I am seeing it over here and I can consume it. So it's always, you know, beneficial to create a content type at, you know, the tenant level, but uh, most of the people create the content type at site level. But most of the site collection admin creates the content type at, you know, the site level. So for creating a content type at site level, we'll click on create a content type. And similarly, we have to fill these entire details. Okay, friends. So we have given the name to our content type site level content and uh, description will be also the same. I will use an existing category in the drop down menu. There are multiple options. I will go with document content types and in parent content type can use if we have any parent content type so i will go with document content types and in content type i will go with document let me click on create okay so after creating the content type at site level we'll click on advanced settings so similarly as we did it in the tenant level we can also upload our document template i will click on upload and from here if you will scroll down i have one template which I have used in the previous video as well. I will click on open and the permission I will give edit and I will click on save. All right. Okay. So I have associated the document template with the content type. So now I will go back to my site. Now I will go to site contents. Okay, friends. So now we will add the content type, which we just created in the site level to this document library for that. We'll click on add a column. If you will scroll down a bit. Here you will get an option of add a content type. You will click on it. Click on next. You will get an option of choose a content type. Click on it. This is the content type which we created at tenant level. And this is the content type which we just created. So we'll select this and we'll click on apply. All right. So our content type at, you know, the site level is successfully added to this document library. If you'll click on new. You, you will see the option of site level content. So this is the template which we have uploaded. And if I, you can see the template is successfully uploaded to this content type and we users can use this template to create the word document. So friends, that's how we can create the content type at a site level. And later on, we can associate the document template with that content type. And we have successfully used the content type which we created at site level in this document library. That's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.